What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video we're taking a look at the updated version of Waves Studio Rack, which adds a killer feature, and that's the support for third-party VST3 plugins. That's right, in Wave Studio Rack now, which of course is still free, you can use third-party plugins that are VST3. We're going to take a look at it here. Uh, so this is the 14 or V14 version of Studio Rack here. Everything looks the same. Everything functions the same, except for now when we go to add a plugin. If you look down here, we now have VST3. So this top part remains all of Waves plugins. Under this break line is VST3 plugins. And if you scroll, you'll see the company name of all of your third-party VST3 plugins. And you can search those VST3 plugins as long as you're selected down here. And then if you're up here, the search is going to work for the Waves plugins. All right, so we've got a, a vocal here that we're going to process with Studio Rack with third-party VST3 plugins. And we've got Baby Audio Smooth Operator. We got kit plugins BBN105. We have the uh, Tube Tech CL1B from SoftTube. And then we've got Waves Vitamin. All right, so I'm going to play this vocal uh, dry with no effects, and then we'll bring these in one by one. When I wake up in the morning, love, and the sunlight hurts my eyes. And something without warning, love, bears heavy on my mind. Then I look at you, and the world is all right with me. Just one look at you, and I know it's gonna be a lovely day. All right, I'm going to play it one more time, and I'll bring the whole chain in and out. Uh, one thing to point out here, though, the gain reduction. You're still getting this gain reduction notification or gain reduction metering here, even with the third-party plugins, which is nice. The compression, again, I'm using is the uh, CL1B, so the gain reduction here you're seeing is from that. And, of course, you can still create your macros, and you can use the third-party plugins as well with that, of course, now. All right, let's bring this in and out so you can hear the immediate difference. When I wake up in the morning, love, and the sunlight hurts my eyes, and something without warning, love, bears heavy on my mind, then I look at you, and the world is all right with me, just one look at you. And I know it's gonna be a lovely day. All right, so there's a quick look at the new updated v14 version of wave studio rack again this is free and i'll have a link in the description if you want to check this out learn more about it or pick it up uh, definitely drop a comment and let me know will you be upgrading to this version of studio rack do you think it's worth upgrading to this to get the third party support and do you use studio rack uh, want to point out a really helpful thing about wave studio rack is that it is compatible across daws so what this means is that if I'm at a studio recording in Pro Tools and I start on a rough mix at the studio, I can use Studio Rack and create a chain for that rough mix for the vocal, let's say, for example. Then I could come home where I mix, let's say, in Studio One and load up Studio Rack and I can continue to use that same chain that I had at the studio in Pro Tools and use it in Studio One and pick up right where I left off. A great way to use Studio Rack. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. Any questions, comments, let me know and I'll catch y'all next time.